What's happening guys? Safety Liner C2 here. We have got the September school bus collection update. I'm going to show you every single thing that I got in September. There's a lot of really interesting stuff in here, so I hope you'll stick around and see what I got. All right, so starting us off, we have a stack of literature here. These first couple ones I've already done a video on, uh, including this Winnebago Series 19 uh, transit bus. Uh, I love the, like... I don't know, fanciness that it's in like this, whatever you would call this, um, as compared to just like a normal uh, paper brochure. So uh, I really like this. I thought it was different and unique. This came in a lot of uh, some other stuff. So that's the only reason that I have it, as well as this uh, Mercedes-Benz uh, 309D. Um, so yeah interesting but uh not exactly something that i would have normally uh seeked out for my collection but um this was one thing that i did get uh specifically for the collection this collins uh super bus brochure you don't see a whole lot of collins brochures um and i only have a couple these are the oldest ones that i have this and the next thing that i'll show you uh, they're both from 1973. Uh, this one is like six or seven pages. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's interesting to see the progression of stuff. So, uh, that and then this one as well, the Econo bus. This one's only uh, just uh, the inside and outside. It's only four pages. So, uh, yeah, nothing too crazy, but... Like I said, I did a video on these if you would like to check those out. Now, these right here are all chassis brochures. I bought these in a lot. There's five of them. Um, and the reason I bought these is because it was a good deal and I didn't have four of them. I don't remember which one I have off the top of my mind. I think it's this 1969 uh, Thomas, uh, one with Thomas on the front. So, uh, but like I said, all of these are just... Chevy brochures. So this one's a 1968. It's got a uh, Bluebird Chevy on the front. Absolutely gorgeous. The insides are mostly all the same. They show off most of the same stuff. Um, if you are interested in checking these out, they're on my Flickr. Uh, scan and upload all of them so that you can check them out. Um, yeah, like I said, this is the one that I already had, or at least I'm pretty sure that's the one that I already have. So, um, yeah, we have another Bluebird Chevy on the front right here of this one. Let's see, I don't remember exactly what year this is. Uh, 73, right there. So, got another Thomas on the front of this 75 chassis for sure. And then the 1987, again with another Thomas Chevy on the front. So, yeah, like I said, uh, I don't normally, I wouldn't normally go for chassis brochures, but because I didn't have four of the five and it was a good package deal, uh, I decided that I was going to pick them up. Next up, we got this super cool and hard to find Bluebird Vision mug. Got a couple models. This one my mom randomly picked up for me. My mom and grandma also went on a trip across the country and ended up getting a couple, including this little Matchbox double decker. This Tootsie toy model, this one is in much better condition than the one that I already have. And this carded Hot Wheels prisoner transport bus, which looks really good. This this uh, whole packaging is in really good condition. Next up, we have this stop sign. My uncle was able to uh, get this out to me. This is, I believe it's the fifth one that I have. It's in pretty good condition. All the bulbs are intact. You can't really make, you can kind of make it out, but this is uh, a reflective material. So I think this is the first fully reflective one that I have. Um, not too many like scratches or anything. Like I said, it's in pretty good condition uh, overall. Take a look at the other side here. We have these black bumpers on here, which I believe were put on to like kind of protect the body of the bus um, and the bulbs from cracking. But um yeah, just, just a stop sign. I might try and uh, see if I can get these wired up to, like, flash. That would be pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, 
I also got one of these. I've seen them around. I've never had a reason to buy one, but I saw it in the store and was picking up a couple other things. So figured, you know what, why not? So there's that. One of the coolest new pieces in the collection is this Thomas postcard. I mean, it's so cool and it's got uh, Pearly A. Thomas on it. I believe this is from uh, 1963. I don't remember exactly uh, when it's from, but it is in pristine condition uh, and this is just super, super cool. So the last set of stuff I think is probably the coolest thing that I've gotten this month. It is some Oneida stuff. And this first piece is a letter talking about the invoice. And uh, we apologize for the long delay in our making completion of this shipment. Talking about a specific bus. So yeah, this is just the first of a couple things that I got. Next up, we have the receipts that were just talked about in the last letter. Uh, you can see that the bus was uh, $2,153 uh, for the Model 220 Special Medium Knocked Down Single Packed uh, headed to New York. So there's that. Coming down to the last couple things, we have this 1958 Oneida uh, kind of sales sheet. So not much going on here, but pretty cool. And you don't see a whole lot of stuff from Oneida, so... Uh, when I had the opportunity to pick this up, I pretty much just jumped right on that. And the last thing for this month is this, uh, again, 1958 Oneida Warrior. This is a full-on brochure, um, so you can kind of, you know, see what's going on here. Uh, I might have to do a separate video on this if I see fit. I have not had a chance to, uh, take a real in-depth look at this, but... Uh, you will definitely be able to see pictures of this on Flickr and all the other literature that I got this month. I'm going to make sure to scan and upload that uh, real soon so that you can see high quality images and so that all of this stuff is properly uh, preserved and archived. And there you have it. That is everything that I have ordered in September to add to my school bus collection update. I've got a couple other things that are on the way that will be in next month's update, but I feel like this month was a pretty good month for my collection. I think there were some solid things in there. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I always do appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical red button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know why they put it down here or they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up or there's going to be absolutely nothing interesting in next month's update. And make sure you also share this video with a friend, show it to your mom, show it to your dad, show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care. Don't let anything happen to you. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching.